Now we're gonna kind of have a little fun exercise here. We're gonna kind of let you guys show off your scouting abilities because the internet never forgets. So we could check back on this a few years later and be like, wow, that guy really knows what he's talking about or why the heck did they ever put him on this show in the first place? Who's one of these under the radar guys? Might not even be on your top 100 list, a late, later round guy that really nobody's talking about, but you want to attach your name to. So then in four or five years, when this guy is lighting up the NHL, you can be like, yeah, I told you about him first. Uh, no pressure, but we will be looking back on this on a year to year basis. Uh, Matthew, who's who's your under the radar guy that you want to put your name on to? Uh, one guy I've, I've been impressed with uh Again, we're talking about the Chicago Steel again, and uh, Ryan Ufko, Ufko from, uh, from Chicago Steel and defenseman. Uh, very mobile, very smart. Uh, he's been, you know, on the power play with the Steel and with, I mean, Stars Coronado and uh, Sam Skevich and guys like that, but he he really helps run that power play, and I think uh, he's going to be a very dominant top four defenseman. I've got him ranked towards the end of the second round, but to, after watching the Bio Steel game, even though Team White didn't, do very well in the game. I, I still liked Ufko's game, and I I think he's going to be a hell of a defenseman when uh, the, when he does make the NHL. All righty. Yeah, more Chicago Steel love. I like it. Um, Peter, who's uh, who's a guy that you don't think is getting enough enough pub, but you, uh, you're you you're in love with his game? Oh, uh, kind of mad at Matt for taking Ryan Ufko for me, but uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a good pick no matter what. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go for somebody that wasn't on my initial rankings before and like jumped into my top 90, not even as an honorable mention, but he was named to Team Canada's U18 team, Alan Zellweger. Um, just watching some of the clips of him, he's a 17 year old, undersized, but he does not let his size affect him. It's just very amazing to see him compose himself on the ice. Uh, if there's a situation where he has the puck, there's pressure, he doesn't panic, gets out of the trouble, gets out of trouble and then is able to move the puck up quickly. So I'm excited to see what uh, um, he could do for team Canada. I know a lot of people are going to focus in on the brand Clark, the Carson Coleman's of the team, cause they're the bigger names, but 17 years old uh, was just over a point per game with the Everett silver tips. I'm thinking that he's probably going to have a pretty good tournament no matter what. All right. And Andrew, we'll wrap up this little segment with you. Who's your under the radar guy that you, uh, you want to give props to before anybody else. So I'm going to go way off the radar here. I'm going to go with Alex Graham playing for the Sheffield Steelers in the EIHL over in great Britain. Um, look, this is a guy who who's not going to get nearly enough credit uh, for what he's doing, but he's a six 192 pound left winger. Um, and, uh, when he played with the Sheffield steel dogs in 2019, 20, uh, had 52 points in six or 38 games. So, um, a guy that, uh, you know, you don't, you don't hear a lot about coming out of England, but, uh, definitely a guy that should be considered uh, a draft eligible prospect in 2021. And, uh, maybe, maybe somebody takes a, takes a, you know, swipe at him late in the sixth or seventh round, or, or maybe, uh, you know, he can sign as a free agent and get an opportunity with somebody down the road, but definitely a guy that, uh, you know, we don't give enough credit to uh, some, some of the uh, other Europeans that are playing over there. For sure. Not, not a, not a hockey hot, uh, hotbed uh, where he's playing from under the radar. Yeah. You definitely, Definitely got that done. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have to go back and watch any of the footage. That is the first time the Sheffield Steel Dogs have been mentioned on a hockey <laughs> writer show. I guarantee it. Um, so awesome. That's that's a great uh, pick there. 